we're Team Sharkwater, and you're watching original footage from Rob Stewart's latest movie, Sharkwater Extinction. What you're watching right now is a hammerhead, Rob's personal favorite shark. Ever since he was a boy, he dreamed of swimming with hammerheads. There's several different species of hammerheads, including the scalloped hammerhead and the great hammerhead, which you're looking at now. Robbie and Will and myself, we've all been swimming, and Julie, of course, as well, have all been swimming with great hammerheads off of Bimini in the Caribbean. It's in the Bahamas, and it's a fantastic place to get down underneath the surface of the ocean and hang out with these gentle giants. Hammerheads primarily eat stingrays, and often stingray barbs are found in their milk, but they don't seem to bother the shark too much. I think one of the most amazing things is, is even though there's a whole week dedicated to sharks, we still know so little about sharks that we're actually discovering new species quite often. In fact, a new hammerhead species was found this year. The hammer gets its name from the cephalofoil across the front of uh, the head itself. The eyes are out on the edges, and that gives them a 360 range of view. So they can see things behind them in their rear view, they can see things out in front of them, and they can use the ampullae of Lorenzini that we've talked about previously across the large front end of their business side to sense through the sands to find the stingrays that Will was talking about. They also use that large cephalofoil to follow the magnetic currents within the earth and then they can use that to migrate. They migrate across very far distances and they also aggregate in very special places around the world. Places that are special to us and special to Rob and obviously very special to sharks. Cocos, Mapello, uh, Galapagos, all places that Rob's filmed and places that are featured in Sharkwater Extinction. Hammerhead sharks, because they have such a large dorsal fin, are very iconic, but they're also being hunted for their fins, specifically because that large fin has such a high needle count and is being used in shark fin soup. Their populations are down up to 95% in places around the world. They desperately need protection, and I think it's up to all of us to step up and do something to save sharks.